Oh, what's up, internet? What the hell was that? Corey Zamier here, collecting with Corey. It's time to go over some pickups that I got on a motherfucking Wednesday. Let's go. Alright guys, that's a lie. That's a lie. Not all of it was on a Wednesday. I just realized I'm going to be showing you some stuff right here that was from today, which is a Thursday. I guess it was like in the last 24 hours, whatever. It's fine. <sighs> so, first off, let's go backwards in time. So, Thursday is what I'm going to start with. And these are actually some items that I picked up from a Walgreens. So, I got my discount. Not my Walgreens, but a, a Walgreens. Um, they had some board game type stuff on clearance. Some pretty heavy clearance. Um, this one was more than 50% off and with my discount, I wish I had the receipt. I think it was like $2 and some change. Katam Dice Game. Don't know anything about it, but it looks like a very, very much simplified version of Katam. Very flimsy box, but... You know, for two dollars and some change, I'm not gonna leave that behind, especially if I'm a little bit, a little bit un poquito into board games. I don't know. Now uh, this next one I've never actually heard of, but it was marked down to seven ninety or seven forty nine, plus my discount is probably six dollars and some change. It's called Coup. It sounds very similar to the next game I'm gonna show you, which is Resistance. The Resistance. I've played this with both groups of my friends. I've played this with my D&D group and my camping group, and it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, especially when you are all really into it, and it's about basically figuring out who the spies are, who's the traitor, and trying to overthrow the Empire. But you got two spies at least in your group. Problem with this is you need at least five people. At least five people to play uh, which is very difficult for you to just have on hand um, we ended up picking up two copies one for us and one for our other friends that might want a copy of this game for very cheap now on to the actual video game finds and what I was able to find Wednesday so here's a little bit of backstory for Wednesday I didn't have to go into work until 2 30 which is very late for me so I decided to spend the first four and a half hours of my day hitting up pawn shops, thrift stores, all the thrift store stuff you'll be seeing in a separate video. Otherwise, this video would be at least 30 minutes long, probably. Well, I don't know. I'm only at like three minutes right now. But basically, I'm going to be doing this pretty much every Wednesday from now on because this was one of my favorite Wednesdays of all times. So Aside from any Wednesday, I had off completely. One of my favorite Wednesdays of all times. Um, and I had some hits and misses along the way. You don't score every time. And when you think you score, sometimes you actually flounder, like I did with some of these. Um, I don't even know where to start. Actually, uh, let's cut right back to Thursday, because this one's kind of a flounder. I don't know. Um, we went to Walmart before we went to Walgreens. And I found some clearance, semi-clearance 3DS games. I don't really know if it was clearance or if that's the regular price, but they had three copies of Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask. Now, of course, they're in their little plastic cages, uh, $15 each. These still go for about $30 or a little bit more on eBay sometimes. So I was looking to do some recouping with it. And unfortunately, I didn't realize that they were probably on clearance because some of them are a little bit jacked up. Like this one, plastic's a little bit torn there. Uh, this one, the plastic's torn on this side. This one seems okay, but it does have a little bit of a ding there. So it's just like, hopefully I can still get a decent amount of recouping done with them. I know I'll at least get my money back because I can get it back just selling them used, but not the happiest about it. Not the happiest about it. Um, the first major find, I don't even remember what order I got these in, to be honest. Because it was like thrift store, pawn shop, thrift store, pawn shop. Uh, first major find at a pawn shop 
Uh, and this is actually not the same move controller I got. This is one of the ones I got from the thrift store because I traded in the one from the pawn shop or any blah, blah, blah. But for $25, I was able to get Horizon Zero Dawn and a move controller. If you don't know, PlayStation move controllers are pretty valuable right now uh, because of the PlayStation VR. I believe you can sell them on eBay for about $30. $26, $30, something like that. But at the very least, in whatever condition, I assume, because they didn't do any testing on it, um, you can trade them into GameStop right now for $16. So I picked up Horizon Zero Dawn, not a game I intend to play anytime soon, and a game that very much still has pretty good value with GameStop, still trades in for $25. Um, so I picked these up both for $25, Traded them in for basically like $40 and some change, I think it was. Not a bad start to the day. Um, at a separate pawn shop, I was able to pick up a PSP game that I've actually been wanting to have the whole series for a while in my collection. That is Pat Upon 3. I really enjoyed the first game when it came out. It was one of those kind of awkward portable games to be playing around friends, especially if you didn't have headphones because... You're just sitting there talking to friends and playing your game, and it's just going, pat up, pat up, pat up, pon, and all that shit. And it's just like, this kind of awkward to be playing a game with the sound on, but you have to for that game and for these games. Um, so I was very happy to find this. Uh, they wanted $5 for it. I flashed them four. I was going to hand them a 10 to break, but they took the four, so got it for four bucks. Game goes for about $19, $20, something like that going to be adding it to my collection because like I said I've been looking for it for quite some time and you just don't come across the Patapon games very often. Uh, next up, this is one of the unfortunate ones, at one of my usual, or more usual than not, pawn shops, uh, I picked up three more PSP games. We got four, and these were at like no discount whatsoever, what you see is what you get on these. Um, for $6, we got Medieval Resurrection, which is pretty cool. Uh, I believe this is just a remake or a port of the original Medieval game. Complete, pretty nice shape. Not a bad deal for $6. Uh, we got the first Loco Roco game, because I have Loco Roco 2, didn't have the first one. Really, really fun game. If you get a chance to check it out, I highly recommend the Loco Roco series. Well, at least the second one. I've never played this one. This one was five bucks. It's probably worth either five bucks or a little bit less, to be honest. And the last game is like the biggest disappointment in this video because I didn't even know this was a thing that fucking existed. I thought I was getting a sealed copy of Patapon 2. Now look at this shit. Downloadable game voucher. No disc included. Memory stick and access to PlayStation Network required. So they charged me five bucks for this, and I have no idea what the fuck this even is. Like, it's sealed. I don't know where it was distributed. Let me know in the comments below if you know anything about this shit. Uh, did they ever come out with Patapon 2 physical? Like, or is this how, the, how it came out? Like, is this the best I can get? I don't know. I'm just really kind of disappointed in this because I thought, like, against all odds, I somehow completed the Patapon trilogy in one fucking day and I get home and I'm looking at it and I'm just like what the fuck what the fuck I can't reach the other Patapon game I was going to show them all but that's so disappointing let me know in the comments below if you know anything about this <sighs> that's some bullshit now at the last pawn shop we went to this is one that I'm going to be hitting up a ton because this deal was actually really, really good. And the more I looked into this deal after I'd already done it, the better it seemed to get. Um, I went in there and they have their Wii games priced at $5, PS3 and Xbox priced at $3 each. And then they have some other games behind their case that have other prices, individually prices, or some in some cases, in, in this case actually, no price and they had to look them up on the spot. Uh, went up to the counter, had two Wii games in mind, so we got Back to the Future, the game, which is a Telltale Games, I believe they've re-released this, or maybe it was already on PS4 or something, I don't know, I have it on PS4, I think. Yeah, I have it on PS4. 
Uh, still goes about $15 for the Wii, so a pretty decent recouper for a $5 game, which when you add up the price I pay for everything here is going to be a lot less than that, actually, I think. Or maybe more, depending if you're going to average it out, but whatever. And also Michael Jackson, The Experience, something I've recouped with a few times on the channel. Value's been going down, but still 10 to 15. And then they had a group of PlayStation 1 games behind the counter. And I asked to look at them. I looked at the NES games. They didn't have anything I needed, and everything was pretty high priced, to be honest. Uh, and when they brought me the PlayStation 1 games, I noticed that they didn't have prices on these. Um, so I asked how much they would do for them. Uh, about five minutes later, the guy went over to a computer, was looking stuff up. I guess he was pricing stuff, too, because he did come back with prices on the games. And we kind of played this game of how much would you like to pay for it. Um, I offered, I think it was $40 for everything. Or if it was just $40 for the PS1 games. I don't really remember how that worked. Um, but long story short, we went over the values of the games. Uh, 15, 15... 15 and 25 according to whatever he was looking it up on but for all these games he was willing to do 50 bucks which is honestly about half of what they're worth um so first up we have a recouper because i already have it parasite eve for the playstation one i'm going to check the condition this one might be in better condition than mine i'm not 100 percent sure comes with both discs and the bonus disc uh, this next one is one that I wanted to have for my collection. Even back in the day, I don't think I had it in this good of a condition. Uh, in that it wasn't the greatest hits. Mortal Kombat Trilogy. I had this uh, on my PlayStation way back in the day, but I'm pretty sure I had greatest hits on it. I've never actually seen the black label version of this game for the PlayStation, so I'm very happy to have this. He was valuing it at like 15 It might be worth that. I honestly don't remember what the price is that I came up with when I was looking on game value now. But another game I'm probably keeping, at least for a little while, probably try to play it at some point, Abe's Odyssey, Oddworld. Uh, always come across Abe's Exodus. Abe's Exodus, I don't believe, is nearly as valuable as this. Uh, they did this weird thing, at least GameStop did back in the day, where... They went through the extra effort of getting their sticker on the back uh, art of the game, which is really, really fucking annoying. And they didn't do it on all of them. Uh, they did it on this last one, though, which is really annoying, because this one is the one I wanted the most. I was so excited to see this game. I've never actually seen this game in person, I don't think, or at least I don't recall. And as everybody knows, Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. And neither is Wu-Tang Shaolin Style. The fighting game. Uh, he had this valued at 25. I looked it up. It's probably about 20, maybe 25 on a good day. But I really wanted it for my collection. And like I said, I paid $50 for everything that I got there. And even if you're just counting Parasite Eve which goes for about 20 and then these two games at 15 that's my money back right there and i get to keep and add three pretty cool to awesome playstation one games for my collection so that is going to do it for this episode it's weird when i don't have an idea of what the episodes are called about to call it like weekend adventure through singing Connecticut, but it's not one of those it's of Wednesday game hunts maybe that'll be a new series or Wednesday game hunting I don't know let me know in the comments below if I should have like series for everything on my on my channel um, sometimes I feel weird that I just kind of have random pickup videos when it's not weekend adventure season but like the video subscribe if you're new go check me out on patreon I'd really appreciate your support you could support the channel for just a dollar a month more it's up to you Big shout out to Totterbert and Dr. Doge Production for your continued support. And as always, keep it real, Internet. I love you guys.